Hello, welcome to singing time this week. Can you believe Christmas is almost here? We're, we are going to start out with a Christmas song because that is the best way to celebrate. So we're going to sing Picture of Christmas. And we are going to build a nativity. In this box is a nativity set from when Brother Powell served his mission in South Africa. So as we sing it, as we sing the song, we are going to build our nativity. All right? Thank All you. right. So the song goes, picture a stable in Judea. So I don't have a stable, but I have animals that would live in the stable. So we've got a sheep. What else do we have in here? Here's another sheep. Okay. So picture a stable in Judea. Picture a sacred silent night. And can you hear the angels near? So let's find the angel, Margo. And can you hear the angels near? So I don't have an angel in this nativity set, but I do have this snowman that has a little halo and some wings. So can you hear the angels near and see the star so bright? Picture the little baby Jesus. So we gotta find our baby Jesus. Here he is. Picture the little baby Jesus. Think of his life and words so dear. Um, the, that, that's the chorus, and it says, Sing praise to him, remember him, as you picture Christmas this year. Okay, let's sing the next verse, too. It says, Picture a kind and gentle Joseph. Which one's Joseph? Here is Joseph. He has a staff. Picture Mother Mary fair. Is this Mary? Mm -hmm. This is Jesus' mom, Mary. And can you see so reverently the shepherds kneeling there? All right, so here's a shepherd with a little lamb. He's going to come see. We also have the wise men here, but we know that they didn't come till later. But we'll set them over here. All right, and then it sings the chorus again. Okay, so let's listen to the music as we sing it and put it all together. Okay. Picture a stable in Judea. Picture a stable. shepherds. That is such a beautiful song to remember Christmas. Thank you for singing with me. This week in Come Follow Me, we learned about faith, hope, and charity. Three things that are so important in our lives. We're going to talk a lot about charity today. Here is a scripture. This is Moroni 7 45 and we have some blanks. Let's sing some songs and learn about some stories about Jesus um, to help us fill in the blanks. So charity is what? Charity is the pure love of Christ. So to figure out our first blank, we are going to learn a story about Jesus. Here is a picture of him in the Garden of Gethsemane. The pure love of Christ was shown to us in that Jesus atoned for all of our sins. He bled and died so that we can be saved and return to our Heavenly Father. Isn't that amazing? So let's sing the song Gethsemane. And as we sing it, I'm going to show you some more pictures about Jesus and his life. And I want you to feel the spirit 
testify to you that it is true. Here we go. Jesus climbed the hill to the garden still. His steps were heavy and slow. Love and a prayer took him there to the place only he could go. such a beautiful song. I love that one. So our first word in our scripture is suffereth long because Jesus suffered for us. So right here, and charity suffereth long. And write that in. My turn. All right. Our next word that we need to figure out is um, we can find out through a story. One day when he was walking along the road um, with his apostles, there was a ton of people and somebody reached out and touched his robe and he felt it and he stopped and he turned around and said, who touched me? And he went back and helped the woman who had touched him because she had so much faith that he would help her. And he showed that he was kind and was kind even when he was busy and around a ton of people. So we are gonna sing Kindness Begins With Me. Okay, for this song, we are going to clap twice and touch our shoulders twice in this pattern. Here we go. word. It is kind. 
So charity suffereth long and is kind. All right, for our next story about Christ. In the last week of Christ's life, he was brought before judges and before Pilate, and they all mocked him, and he did not respond with anger whenever they were rude to him. He just stayed calm and didn't yell at them and didn't show anger back to them. So we are going to sing No One Likes a Frowny Face. I love this song. So this is what my mom used to use when she would teach us this song, this paper plate. And look, when I flip it upside down, it's smiling. So if you want to create your own one of these, all you need is a paper or a paper plate and draw a frowny face and then flip it upside down and draw a smiley face. Go grab something so you can do this. Press pause. Chance to meet a frown, do not let it stay. Quickly turn it upside down and smile that frown away. No one likes a frowning face, change it for a smile. Make the world a better place by smiling all the while. Okay, I think we need to try again because Margot kept her frowning face the whole time. Do we need to change it for a smile? Can you show me your biggest smile? There it is! Okay, let's start over. Okay, you gotta start off with that frown face, okay? If you chance to meet a frown, do not let it stay. Quickly turn it upside down and smile that frown away. No one likes a frowning face, change it for a smile. Okay, so our missing word is, is not easily provoked. So just like Christ did not respond with anger when other people were mean to him, he was not easily provoked. Those are big words. Let's write it in here. Oops, not a permanent marker. <laughs> okay, our last story for our last fill in the blank about Christ is... He was perfect. He had no sin in his life, and he never thought evil thoughts. Um, even when Satan tempted him, he had fasted for 40 days, and he was really hungry. And Satan came to him and said, turn these stones into bread and you can eat. But Jesus knew that Satan was wrong, and he didn't even think that, um, he didn't even consider doing the temptation or think in any evil thought. And he said, go away. So we are going to sing a song that I love. It's called Hum Your Favorite Hymn. I don't know if you guys know it or not, but it is one that you should know and carry throughout your lives. So that whenever you're thinking something bad or have a mean thought, you can sing this song and it goes right away. Okay, just follow my actions for this song. in your head because it's a good song to get stuck in your head.
last word is thinketh no evil. So let's go ahead and read this entire verse. Margo added some art for us down here. And charity suffereth long, and is kind, and envieth not. Envieth not means you don't want what other people have. You're happy with what you have. And is not puffed up. That means, puffed up means that you think you're better than other people. Charity is not being puffed up. Seeketh not her own. That means reaching out to people who are not like you. You can find other people to be friends with, right? Is not easily provoked, slow to anger, thinketh no evil, I'm your favorite hymn, and rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in truth. So that means celebrate what is true and not what is evil. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. And that's Moroni chapter 7, verse 45. So how do we get charity in our lives? We can pray for charity. It is a spiritual gift, and it's something that we have to practice. But the more we learn about Christ and his life, the more we can understand what charity is and how we can use it in our own lives. So I invite you to find one thing that you can do to better show the pure love of Christ this week. Choose it right now in your mind. I'll give you five seconds. Thank you. Okay, what I'm going to do this week to show greater charity is to serve somebody. I'm going to find somebody to do something nice for. That's a great thing to do during Christmas, right? Okay, I hope you all have such a great week and sing as many Christmas songs as you want. And next week, we will sing more Christmas songs. All right.